suck at all. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Either it works flawlessly or there's no hope. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. So, you know, let's see. So 2000 remaining. All right. So what, what do you, uh, let's, let's, uh, jump to the, okay. So basically so we looked I at this. I don't have much here. Uh, I just want to like take your feedback on the video you have given that. Yeah. And, uh, other than that, uh, I'm kind of busy for the next couple of weeks. So, yeah. uh, so I, I would not be doing some cold stuff, but I want to talk about, uh, the web UI part. So mm -hmm. there might be people who would like to, uh, contribute to the web UI part, but I myself don't know much about it. So I cannot talk about it much. So I'm going to so write that one out. I know how it works, how we have the web UI set up at the, at the moment uh, and uh, stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. So, um, uh, what we are using, how our architecture is in web UI stuff. Yeah, so <laughs> further, okay. And so maybe we can also put it as a GSOC part. That's yeah. So I'm gonna maybe. finish writing that up. Uh, I just haven't gotten to it yet, so it's not one of the. It's not. Yeah, we had the other ones we just needed to submit. So we did get. We did. We are in. We're on the website. We got the logo on the website, so that's exciting. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so that's like we talked about, you know, we'll probably split out some of those projects and then, um, and then we'll, uh, that'll be, that'll be one of the, the ones that we expand the list. <coughs> so, all right. Okay. Um, all right, great. So, yeah, so if we, and then let's see, you have your link on the ideas page. Great. I'm, I'm excited to see this. So did you say, is there going to be a recording here? Uh, yes, so there is going to be a recording. I had a word with the organizers, so they will uh, load it to their YouTube channel after Great, everything. great. And they will share it. That's Fantastic. Um, let's see, is this in the middle of the night for me? Um, yeah, PM that's probably ISD the middle of the night for me. Yes, probably you will not be able to. Uh, it's like 4 p.m. Uh, oh, no, this is 2.30? It doesn't sound right. 4, 4 oh, 4, PM. yeah, okay, so we're looking at 1,600. Uh Okay, 2.30 a.m. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, I'm like, wow, how, what a convenient time. <laughs> okay, so all right, so we need to add this to the, um, the issue tracker here. All right, well, I'm glad we figured this out. Thanks for bringing this up um, because this has been, I mean, that's I, I didn't understand why it just keeps getting bigger. We're not adding any big files. Uh, it doesn't make any sense. So this is a great... I'm, I, I mean, this is a great bug to find out now, you know, <laughs> to, to, before before doing this to 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 you know anything anything really bad. Let's see. So star star slash star dot gif, and we should probably do the rest of them too. So JPEG and PNG. Okay. What if someone watches the video in hopes that it installs at the speed as the video <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll we'll probably have to re record the video, unfortunately. Uh, but just let's see. Do we have to do that? I mean do we have to do that? No, no, because uh, because yeah, we'll just speed it up doing this and then and then and then, yes, uh, I, I have done that exactly. That's why it's six minutes. Otherwise, it yeah. was like. Oh no! I just uh, meant we'll we'll speed it up by doing this, and then when they watch the video, they won't notice that it's that we had something wrong. Hopefully. So, oh yes, right. So hopefully we can match that speed that you have there. <laughs> okay, so um, uh, this is housekeeping. Um. Remove, oh, this is terrible. Uh, remove um, large.
files from history. It's still working kind of one for this time. Yeah, oh god. So this is a, this it is, is it is very great that kind of we make these kind of issues because when when something goes wrong I have a good place to refer to. Exactly, uh, right. Yes. It's 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 just yeah, there's I mean there's so many things and, and so many of these types of things are cross like this one this is something that that is good to know no matter what what project you're working on right um so yeah it's good that we document all this stuff i, I agree it's uh okay so let's see um is that oh it's weirdly formatted okay so i'll just assign this to me um i'll put housekeeping okay um this is terrible um, well, now we both. The enabling, I think we should also label the projects as GSOC tag under GSOC tag. Did we? Some of them are not. Some of them are not. So okay. it might be kind of. Especially the ones I opened. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's see. Um, because you I know, cannot put tags there. Yeah, let's see. So, okay, so let's make a note of that. Okay. Um, GSOC uh, project. Is not. Uh, for what? Um, for the uh, time series, yeah. Oops, uh, time series. Time series is. Uh, not add GSOC tag. Okay, so let's just. Oh, wait. Hey. All right, let's fix this at the root cause here real quick. Um, and make an issue template. Um, so copy. Add file. And then we can actually put in our uh, template that we made the other day when we made the, when we were doing the. Uh, yes, it has yeah. been maintainer's notes. There we go. Thanks. Okay, so let's grab this. Okay, and then I also changed it so that I, I went so in one of the projects uh, I just uh, remembered that in one of the projects we have used the auto ml stuff but it is not about our auto ml so can we just iterate through them and see which one is that and kind of update it it is probably oh one yeah I think it in might which uh, event types one or one, one of those projects has this issue, uh, this, this kind of issue mm -hmm. that we have not mentioned it. Okay. Um, so, let's see. yeah, let's go through our... There we go. Okay. Um... This one, this one is right. It's, yeah, this one's right. Okay, I know it. Yeah. This one should be right. I I checked it once. Yeah, you made that one. So implementing auto ML. Well, that one should be the auto ML one, and then I think it's a different one. I think it's the web UI one that you're thinking of. Um, yes, it is the web yeah, UI one. It is yeah. not here. Though. Yeah. Um. And and that's that's just not there because I hadn't finished it out yet. So. Um, I think I removed the GSOC label. Um, so actually, the one uh, in the maintainer's notes issue, we mm -hmm. have probably uh, linked that GSOC tag search. Uh, and under that, it is showing. So if someone goes and 
uh, filters with GSOC tag are issues. Uh, yeah. With the GSOC tag, it shows up uh, and it's the value I want. Right? Okay, great. Um, so now we have a template. Um, so is is Hashim uh, mentoring this year? Hashim is there? I messaged him. I haven't read. I haven't gotten a chance to read his message yet. I just I just messaged him the other day. I've been uh, my uh, background is this church because I'm uh, not at home right now. So, because um, we're moving and we're at a friend's house right now, so uh, wh which is a church, <laughs> which is cool. Um, so let's see, GSOC. So yeah, things have been hectic. So it is an actual background, or it is a virtual? Background? No, this is real. Yeah. <laughs> it looks. It looks good. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, <laughs> she's got a cool place. <laughs> so, so for, for a moment, I thought it is not. Yeah, right. You used to stay somewhere else. Yeah. <laughs> Project idea, okay. Uh, okay, template. I'll just say project idea. Okay, so. All right, so let's see. All right, so great. So we got the project idea. Now that should close that, the fact that you can't create them. Um, um, okay, so added. Now, now, if you add them in the future, I mean, you'll you'll hopefully will move things, and then you'll have permissions. But just in case, you know, for 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 the sake of having a template in the template directory, so. Um, okay, so was there anything else? Let's see. So you said. You, you couldn't add the GSOC tag. We have the web UI needs to be um, document project idea further. Um, so, yeah, and we this may split out, and this is probably going to split out into several things. Um, uh, yeah, and I've also had somebody who said they're interested in doing this as well. So we'll put, we can split this out into several texts. We may end up with a bunch of JavaScript projects. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there's a definitely a backend component as well. But um, and, and you know, actually uh, refactoring the. Um, uh, I don't know if so I want to do that. that uh, I wanted to uh, just discuss once with you. I mm -hmm. have. Uh, set of talking points for tomorrow's session. So mm -hmm. should I add something or should I remove something? You want to go over that real quick, a dry run? Yes, I'll try. there is no content in it. Uh, yeah, it yeah. It's just a list of points right now. Uh, mm -hmm. I will make it uh, tomorrow morning. That should be night at your place. Mm -hmm. So it is kind of uh, sort of in an Indian context because mm -hmm. in India uh, what happens is uh, we have this tendency of treating GSOC in open source as a competitive space because yeah. that's how our, how, how our system is built. Yep. It is like survival of the fittest kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. So here it is. I, I put it in the chat. This is great. Do you want to talk to this right now? Do you want to present it? Um, or let's see. Let's see. Um, no, I, I just want to take right. uh, you to take. Oh, this is great. And uh, see see if there is uh, something that we uh, need to add or remove here. Probably add if we are missing something. Let's see what the heck is open source. This is fantastic here. Wait, I'll go back to sharing. So, uh, I mean, I'm just running through what you have, but. Here, yeah, why don't, why don't you present this and then sort of tell me what 
you uh like do do the screen share and and you know yeah talk to her yeah just So uh, okay, this great. is like that's where it starts. It's there is a bit of information about me. Uh, that that's where I'm going to t t tell that these are the software we've been mm -hmm. uh, using from uh, since childhood, like VLC, Firefox, yeah. Chromium. These are something that everyone uses, and they don't know that it is an open source software and kind of introduce open source because there are some people who are in, in their first year of college, and they need to know. And yeah. These these are some extra links because I will share this PDF with the students. So, this uh, this is where the actual content starts. So mm -hmm. in India, it is like people do BSOC for three things. Uh, one is the stipend. Uh, mm -hmm. Second is the tag of being a GSOC student, and mm -hmm. third is the goodies. Oh yeah. So th th these are not the primary objectives of the project or the program. I mm -hmm. see it as a byproduct. Yeah, but this is action. realistically what's happening. Yeah. Yeah, this is what happens. Yeah. So that's why students are doing, mm -hmm. and it is okay. Like, uh, in a, as a first year student, everyone thinks like that. But when you uh, uh, stay long enough with the community, so you understand it's about community, joining the community to the students, and bringing them into an open source ecosystem. Yes, and you know, like bringing new contributors on board and making them, uh, you know, like building new contributors. Yep. It's yep. a process. It, it is not about money. It is not about yeah, it's about open source. Yeah, and the community. So, exactly. so the problem is a, a big part of uh, media in India and uh, the YouTubers in India kind of project that these are the three things you get. Out oh, of I see. But it is it is not like that. These are the three things you get. Mm. So the prerequisites I will just tell like what are the prerequisites you should mm -hmm. know how to read and you should know how to Google. Yeah. Uh, and those are the two basic things. Choosing an idea is just like knowing which tech stack you are in and then going and choosing things. Mm -hmm. Things uh, understanding the timeline. So a lot of people have confusion about what is community bonding, what is that, yeah. what is this. So that, that's what I'm going to cover there. Drafting up a good proposal. So the the common things we go through, like what our proposals uh, actually stand for. Like it is not only proposals. I think that in most of the GSOC orgs, you need to be involved. Yes. If you just go straight away and put up a proposal. It is not something that you should do. Yeah. Ideally, but but some prop, some orgs are at that scale that they only review proposals. Mm -hmm. But yes, like I think having an involvement is a good thing to have. So, yeah. And uh, some the template thing, like there are there are templates and stuff and about that. Yeah. Uh, some tips. So I will go through the grading rubric we have and. Uh, and tell them like these are the things we actually look for and I I believe that most of the organizations okay, great. like that they, they may or may not tell it explicitly like yeah maybe. yeah but but that is the thing that everyone looks for and, that's what I was just going to send you the link of the rubric if you didn't have that because yes. yeah so, I think so actually I, I, I took it very seriously last year cool and, cool uh, so, so and then, then I will go through questions yeah so, that, that, and that is that. This is great. I think this is perfect. Uh, you, very well, very well done. I'm, I'm really excited to see it. Uh, this is going to be. I mean, you couldn't, you couldn't ask for uh, a better uh, thing to put on the, the landing page of uh, the ideas page. So this is great. Uh, very, yeah, very nice work with this. So, um, yeah. The, okay. So the one thing is about the rubric. Um, yes. It would be nice if we can. I don't know if like it would be nice to think about refining it, right? As we as we come into this next season. Um, so, do you have any thoughts on it? Uh, maybe we can just go through it and take a look. Um, yeah. Just close the tab. Actually, let's see. We're running up into the eight o'clock mark. So, if you don't have any sort of immediate thoughts, because um, I'm gonna have to. Uh, why? Oh, this is at nine. This is the wrong time. I just realized. Yes. No wonder. Thoughts, I don't have any. Uh, okay. Maybe I will. I will ping you on Twitter or Discord. That sounds good. Which one is preferable? I think you are kind of more responsible on Discord. It's uh, on yeah, Twitter. it's on my phone. Yes. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. It's uh, Discord's good. Yeah. I like. Yeah, yeah. I like Discord. I thought I've been getting into final closing thoughts here. I'm. 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 I'm looking into. So I'm not a big. I don't like the. I kind of. You know. I. I played around with the crypto coin stuff and then I was like, it's all kind of, you know, BS. And then, um, 
but now I've I've sort of gotten back into some of the things that are being done in the open source, like the open spec space around that. Um, oh, we talked about this, but the decentralized identity, identity stuff and the personal data store. Yes, I think there's yes. something really interesting to be had there, um, like long term wise. Um, and I've, I've connected with the folks who are in those working groups. And I want to discuss, I want to I want to understand how do we tap into that, right? Because I, uh, the distributed data, like running a distributed data flow would become trivial if you had those things. Um, and so I'm really interested, I'm really interested in trying for us to figure that out at some point. Maybe it's not this year. I know their spec is not entirely mature enough, but maybe next year. And we're going to have to start like, there's going to be a lot of uh, work that goes into that. So I just want to put that out there. We need to think it through. And, yeah. and some things I was thinking about that in proposals, we can, we can have proper UML diagrams if, yep. if the process is very clear. Mm -hmm. So uh, if it is not, like all projects are not equal. So some some yeah. people not have proper diagrams. But if you have diagrams, we should we should kind of add that in rubric that if it is possible, we should have that. Like something in the rubric about diagrams? Yes, like okay. like the graphical explanation, we can call it and, and give example, like what are the types of graphical explanation. So what it brings out is like uh, as as a developer, I also think like uh, using those diagrams is mm -hmm. not just formalism. It is about you know knowing what I'm going to do. Yeah. So when you when you when when as a new developer you start hacking through things, you you after a point you understand you know this cannot mm -hmm. be done. Uh, yeah. And you end up wasting a lot of time because you didn't give prior thought to it. You didn't have a proper flow diagram yep. in your head and the activity diagram in your head and something like mm -hmm. that. So, so there are some standard diagrams, uh, and I think they are very trivial to understand. Mm -hmm. They are not very complicated, and they are a good practice. In any way, we have better documentation with that. So, yeah. so that is something we can we can uh, push for slowly, maybe not completely, but yeah. Well, and I'd like I'd like to get us to the point right where we can basically have people sketch out a diagram and and sort of like that that is a data flow sort of thing, right? So that, you know, then it's basically just fill out the functions, right? Basically write your yeah. functions and then, you know, your diagram should be generated from your blank functions and then your project is filling out the functions, right? Um, I think that would be ideal, you know, because uh, I yeah, really want to get... That is, that is, I see that as a long journey. For us. Yeah, that's a long-term thing, but... Because because the web UI, we are, uh, I see the web UI is like kind of not usable at this point. No, it's That's not usable at all. Yeah, <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so I thought it was actually working, so I. I oh no no no. Get up and running, but it's yeah. Oh no no no. Yeah, it's just the scaffolding. It's all it is is basically just the 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 API classes and um you know it's it's all the you know the meat. It's ready for the meat, right? But it's yeah. just a skeleton right now. Um, so hopefully it should be easy for somebody who. You know, knows how to do UI to just go in there and like start plugging and chugging on components. Um, I think it's ready for that at least. But um, so as you as you talked, like we must have a way to export these flows and everything into different kind of formats. Like for example, if I wanted to spin up a Docker container with mm -hmm. all that code, I should be able to execute that uh, using that. Like if I have an orchestrator as a Docker container, or something. Yes. As so, so that is something that would prove really usable. For example, uh, an experiment team, mm -hmm. uh, an R&D team goes and draws something and then they send it to the ops team. They can yep. uh, straight away export it and that, that kind of thing. Exactly. So that is something we need to look into. And for that, we, we need to think, take, take a step back and understand what are the fundamentals of a system mm -hmm. and how we are going to abstract them into a general representation and then convert them into, into different Yes. So you and I should go over this sometime because I've got it working with Kubernetes um, and we can do Docker Compose. That actually, that we'll do this. Why don't we do, um, uh, we'll do uh, the the meeting recorder. Um, and uh, because I think this becomes trivial uh, with this architecture um, because you can basically just say, 
run the orchestrator like you can pick the orchestrator for any given data flow and this needs to be worked out along with that saving and loading stuff um yes, so but it'll become it's going to be github actions in that case something like that uh no it's so the orchestra actually i think we're i'm gonna have to i'm gonna run up against a time crunch here but let's let's All just right, table right. this um and uh we can look at it we can look at it later but i have a few examples of orchestrators but they're not cohesive yet because i've been trying to write a few and then i'm going to put it all in docs and we can talk about it uh, uh soon yes, but sense. please keep reminding Always. me on this if i don't do it but i am working on it actively yeah sure cool all right, all right. well thanks man i'll uh, talk to you later good luck on this uh, presentation yeah thanks all right bye have a good one